Are you wondering what the best cheap smartwatches are for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best cheap smartwatches on the market. This list was made based on our personal views and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Pagine DZ09 Smartwatch. The DZ09 Smartwatch seems an amazing value alternative to the Apple Smartwatch or Fitbit. It comes with a wide range of functionalities and seems to offer everything you need at a fraction of the price of a popular smartwatch brand. Design-wise, the touchscreen watch face is water-resistant and constructed from glass. It measures 43.5 mm by 40 mm, features a 1.56-inch LCD touchscreen display, and includes a basic camera, Bluetooth, and a cool tracking feature that helps you find it when you misplace or lose it. The DZ09 smartwatch is a standalone micro SIM card supported smartwatch, which means if you insert an unlock SIM card, you can actually make calls, which is really cool. Even without a SIM, you can hook it up to your phone using Bluetooth via the app and make calls via your phone too. As for functionality, you can read emails, get texts, receive notifications of incoming calls, and get calendar updates. Other than that, it's a basic activity tracker and sleep monitor. The number of steps, kilometers, calories, and activity minutes can be recorded in details and synchronized with the app. Plus, it's pretty good when it comes to music. With a 32GB memory card, it can store a whole load of your favorite tunes and pictures. In addition, the DZ09 watch is compatible with all Android 4.3 Plus smartphones. It does work with iOS, but some features will be limited. As for the battery life, you'll get up to 180 hours standby time and 5 hours talking time. To conclude, the DZ09 is a great smartwatch, and considering the very affordable price, you are getting a bargain for a device that has a built-in phone, camera, Bluetooth, social media, internet browsing, and much more. And it's one that's worth a look. At number 4 is the Amazfit BIP. Though Apple and Fitbit are probably the first names that come to mind when you think of wearables, Chinese wearables company Uame is quietly giving them a run for their money with the well-priced Amazfit BIP smartwatch. Built with a matte textured plastic chassis, the BIP transitions nicely into a slightly curved slate of 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass capacitive touchscreen that holds up to plenty of wear and tear. The watch is available in four colors and offers a variety of watch faces, and standard 20mm bands will also fit should you decide to swap. It has a barely there feel on your wrist, which we liked, and the screen is easy to read even in the bright sunlight. On to the features, the BIP has GPS built in for accurate navigation as well as the usual range of features for outdoor running or cycling, and will track stats like your pace, heart rate, and stride, and has the ability to receive app, call, and text notifications from apps like Facebook and Twitter. It can also act as a timer, stopwatch, compass, or personal weatherman. The BIP runs on its proprietary OS in conjunction with the MyFit companion app for iOS and Android. MyFit syncs with the watch and takes control of tracking and record keeping, and even links to the Apple Health app. We must mention, for a fully digital smartwatch, the BIP's battery life is quite impressive. You'll get weeks of use out of a single 2.5-hour charge. Plus, it's also IP68 rated, so it won't get destroyed if you forget to take it off before hopping in the shower. To conclude, if you're looking for a reliable smartwatch with a fair amount of customization, you'll be very happy with the Amazfit BIP. It's easy to use, and for the price, no other smartwatch comes close. At number 3 is the TicWatch S2 smartwatch. This TicWatch S2 is great value for someone looking for a do-almost-everything smartwatch. It is not an alternative to high-end endurance or multi-sport GPS watches, but it's a fraction of the price. Design-wise, the TicWatch S2 packs 5 ATM water and dust resistance, which enables it to be used when swimming. It's also got a mil-standard A10G rating, which means this watch can take a beating and work in almost any environment. As for the display, the 1.39-inch OLED display is solid, it's sharp, and is bright enough for outdoor usage. In addition, the button on the side is also easy to locate and push, even with gloves on. The custom watch faces are absolutely gorgeous and give the whole experience a very classy feel despite the cheap strap. 
As for performance, the S2 boasts a Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear chipset, which makes the device feel decidedly nippy with no lag or freezing. The screen is incredibly crisp and responsive to touch. It tracks steps and heart rate, interacts with Mobvoi's own Tick Health app, and has built-in GPS. The TicWatch S2 runs on Wear OS just like its predecessor, which means it's compatible with both iOS and Android devices. The standard Wear OS features are here like Google Assistant, Notification Support, Google Fit, and Play Store Access. Battery life on this smartwatch is quoted at two days, which we think might be a little generous, but it's certainly improving from the early days of Android Wear. It also comes with a charging dock that fits snugly when it's time to charge. To conclude, if you're looking for a smartwatch that will give you all of the basic functionality of an Apple Watch, while allowing for music storage and can also help you track your fitness along the way, the S2 would be a great choice and one we highly recommend. At number 2 is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. The Galaxy Watch Active's lightweight and simple design make it better for working out and wearing to bed than previous models. It packs in health and fitness features and works on both Android and iOS. Let's see what it has to offer. The watch body itself is made of metal and it looks high-end. The 1.1-inch 360x360 AMOLED display is an absolute beauty. It's bright and vibrant and images and texts are crisp. It's thin at just 10.8 millimeters thick and weighs a lightweight 25 grams, whilst coming in lots of colors with interchangeable brands. The main controls will be with your finger, as you swipe, tap, and flick your way through Tai's NOS. There are two physical buttons on the side for the power control and Samsung Pay Access, which is a cool feature. On to the performance, the smartwatch can automatically detect up to 7 exercises, while tracking up to 39 more, right from your wrist. A swiping to the right of the watch face will bring you to the health screen, showing you three core trackers. You get activity or calories burned, workout or active minutes, and move hourly, which aims to get you up and moving around every hour. Swiping to the left will bring you to many app experiences, like the health tracker or the heart rate tracker. The watch has a built-in GPS if you want to track your runs, but the marquee feature is blood pressure monitoring. This feature requires a separate app you need to download to make it work. As for battery life, expect to get over 45 hours out of a single charge with light use. Plus, there's a small wireless charging pad in the box which you can use to recharge the watch. We found it took around 2 hours to go from 0 to 100%, which isn't bad at all. To conclude, given that the Galaxy Watch Active is a lot cheaper and the design is suitable for both working out and wearing in your daily life, it's difficult to find anyone this smartwatch isn't suited to and would make a great choice for somebody who's a little more brand conscious but still on a budget. At number 1 is the Fitbit Versa 2. Fitbit may have been bought by the mighty Google since the Versa 2 launched, but the Fitbit Versa 2 represents the company's aggressive move towards health. Design-wise, the Versa 2 is small and light, making it easy to wear all day and night without it getting in the way. Fitbit offers a bevy of different styles of straps for the Versa 2 line, all of which are backwards compatible with the original Versa. Furthermore, the Versa 2's AMOLED screen makes the whole watch look way more premium. It offers deep blacks and great viewing angles, which allows the display to blend in with the large bezel surrounding it. It's also bigger this year at 1.4 inches. Flip the Versa 2 over and the sensors and charging port on the back both sit in a unified curved square that's more comfortable against the wrist than the older models. Despite some fancy new features and a refined design, health and fitness are still front and center of the Fitbit experience. The Versa 2 is set up to track indoor and outdoor running, biking, swimming, and strength training workouts, though everything from skiing to golf can also be tracked in some capacity. Additionally, on top of exercise, the heart monitor is also working when you're asleep. We've tracked our sleep and we can comfortably say it is still the best in the business. Plus, it's excellent at detecting when you fall asleep. Its sleep score figures feel on the money. Battery life is where Fitbit has long had the upper hand on Apple and other rivals. And it's the same story with the Versa 2. Fitbit says you can get up to 5 days of battery life on this thing and based on our time with the device, that's about right. To conclude, it may not be as high-powered as the Apple Watch, but the Fitbit Versa 2 expertly shows how less can often mean more. And for the price, it's easy to see why it tops our list. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.